Well, can you believe we made it to episode 10? In this special celebration episode, we're going to bring in Amy Jo Martin, the CEO and founder of Digital Royalty, to talk about just how big a role Shaquille O'Neal really played in their rise to greatness. We're going to talk about two magazine articles, both featuring downtown Las Vegas and the startups that exist within these walls. And then we're going to introduce you to our newest employee, a dog named Cuz. So get ready for dog cam, because this episode 10 is going to be a blast. Super excited for this episode because of that giant pile of chicken wings right there. So um, one sort of sad thing happened to Mike this afternoon. He didn't qualify for an eating competition. But you know what? I think we're going to give him a second chance to eat a gigantic pile of wings. So I got a timer here. Uh, we are going to give him five minutes. And we are going to see wow. how many of these chicken wings he can eat. All, of them. All right. So cheer him on. You guys ready? OK, we're going to start a timer in five. Four, three, two, one, go. Okay. All right, it's none of the real stuff, guys. What do you see? Like a need man focus focus right now. This is... <laughs> okay, well, you need to focus because you got to talk about this magazine. Oh, okay. You've been excited about it all day. I, I have been. So I'm flying Southwest, best airline ever. And Spirit Magazine featured Las Vegas this month. And the coolest thing was is that in the feature of Las Vegas, they're talking about downtown. And they're, I can't take this seriously. <laughs> so uh, in the magazine, they talk about Commonwealth as places to check out. They say, check out Commonwealth, check out Art Square, check out Smith Center, and this whole focus on downtown and what's going on with the revitalization down here. And it was really cool that it was something that's featured in this national magazine, and then Mike's going to destroy all the good publicity we get when they watch this segment. <laughs> yeah, though, he's going to be the best publicity. <laughs> this is like why you need to come down here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mike eating, yeah. No, but I, this is really great. I mean, this is awesome for Las Vegas, and the fact that downtown is, is getting some buzz that's bigger than itself at this point, and Southwest Magazine is picking it up and talking yeah. about it. It's really cool. Yeah, I guess it's the magazine episode, because you yeah. got... Yeah, we, yeah, we got... Eat the startups. Yeah, you live on the cover of Seven Magazine. You know some of these people, right? Yes, no, no. There's a very happy I've heard, I've heard the legend. <laughs> I've heard the Alu legend. But uh, I don't know who else is here. Maybe I don't know. Maybe Ticket Cake. Maybe Digital Royalty. <laughs> <laughs> One minute judging? eighteen. Huh? These are, oh, <laughs> How did you? And by the way, so everybody knows Mike did this competition like four hours ago. <laughs> 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 like, like, like we're not talking like last week. He's been yeah, pressed. Like well, he's got. He's been doing it like all week. Even like last week, and you're like, I'm gonna go for more until like win. I'm just like, okay, dude. What was your Good. thing? Like 107? I can't even process eating 107 wings. What do they say about ticket cake? Can oh, go? wait, did you read about ticket cake? I did. Oh, look, you're I did, like, ten times, actually. It, it, it is really everywhere. awesome, though, like, traditional media picking up on all the stuff that's going on down here, cover of, you know, big magazine. Yeah. You know, I was gonna, I was gonna talk to you about uh, ticket cake. We did sell our uh, one millionth dollar processed, so... Woo! It was, uh, it happened late afternoon on Sunday, so, um, you know, just growing piece by piece. And then we wanted to uh, give a shout out to a company that we worked with down in uh, Sundance, which is a company called Stublisher. And um, what they do is they can actually take like, uh, like real-time Instagrams and like sort of geo-fence them. So um, we had a ton of traction this year. One of the reasons we sold a lot of tickets is because they could actually get all this like real life footage of people having fun that started like driving more and more traffic. So I just want to give a shout out to them too, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, what's my guy? We're sitting at two we minutes and 36. Yeah. I'm sorry, we can cut back in. It's a cool thing with editing. We can cut back in and show Mike's progress. <laughs> Five minutes. We'll just walk minutes, away so. and just leave him here. Is that yeah, supposed to work? <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you heard on the block about Zirtual? Anything, anything big? Only that they're totally awesome. Oh, yeah? I accidentally yeah. watched one of their mixers. Like, I was just going to DCR the other day, and this lady comes up. She's like, oh, are you here for the Zirtual mixer? I'm like, the what? The what? The Zir what's Zirtual? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, our new, our new cameraman's getting the shot. What's up, Cuz? What's up, Cuz? What's up? Cuz? Oh, yeah, please bring him. No, 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 no. That's as much trouble as the guy who's right there. See that drool hanging from him? <laughs> yeah. God. You didn't think that one through, did you? Uh, that one, I did not think that through. That's I just okay. remember thinking, like, if there's one thing you're not going to do, and it's just don't <laughs> put the dog near all that food. Like, that's, like, the one thing we need to take care of. Awesome. <laughs> all right, Mike, all right. you're sitting at uh, three minutes and 40 seconds. Can you count how many he's eaten so far? No. Why? <laughs> Can we check back in in a minute? 15 seconds. 
Well, we can. We want to. We can have a zoo, We can ever do a pitch. We do Zertual's pitch. Perfect. You know, let's get. Let's say, uh, Zertual. Why don't you come on down? All right. Yeah. So we've got Mary and Kate. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having the podcast. We appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. So we need to get you mic'd up with the lapel mic. Do you have that right now? The lapel mic, or is she can just do it right there? Look at that. She has a fancy mic. Yeah, why not? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, so uh, we now know that you are the newest company to be funded by the Vegas Tech Fund, but we don't all know what you do, and we want to. So okay. why don't you take a second to explain to everybody um, what it is that you do. So it's always fun to be told a few minutes before that you need a 60 second pitch. So I was thinking about that really quick. And what we do is we make people's lives easier. So if you're a busy entrepreneur or small business owner, which a lot of people are, we give you a dedicated assistant which helps you do everything from business to personal tasks. So I really quickly wrote down the things I've done with my own virtual assistant in the last 24 hours and they were checked in for my flight, scheduled three days of meetings, found the contact info for the three people at the top of our phone company, which led to me getting $1,000 worth of credit after a total screw up on their part, researched the best IP alternatives in Vegas, which is quite a feat, by the way, um, fo <laughs> like planned my mother's birthday party, which I forgot about, but my assistant reminded me of, and bought her gift and delivered and everything, and set up all of our HOA renter's insurance for the opt-in. So more or less, my virtual assistant in the last 24 hours helped Zertual move to Las Vegas. So that's like my use case, and hopefully there will be many other ones we could be applicable to other companies. But the general gist is we just try to make your life easier through your dedicated assistant who knows your needs. That's great. And then what did they come up with for the IKEA alternatives? Anything interesting? West Elm Modern LV, which delivers furniture from IKEA for a really reasonable rate. Oh, I've heard of that. Um, he told me not to go to the Macy's home store, but I went anyhow because I have like a rebellious streak and it's a disaster. Oh, you can't fight with your virtual assistant. I know. Yeah. I <laughs> Be like, use reverse psychology on me because I, I will not trust you. I know. That's bad. But we ended up at Target and West Elm. Okay. And then who's the target market? Who are you looking to sell this? To or the target as market your... is entrepreneurs and small business owners. It's people that are starting and don't have the resources or the desire for a full-time $80,000 a year assistant, but need some help. Whether they need customer support help or they need someone to manage their schedule. We try gotcha. to fill a lot of that stuff. Okay, well, we have a uh, treat in store for you to welcome you. We have um, gigantic scissors. I don't know how I could have lost these, but one of the newest tools that we now have. Because we kill anybody this afternoon. Wait, wait, wait. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get one If you want to stand up here in front, we'll have you have you chop this, and then we'll, uh, if you want to stand right over there, we'll have you do it up in front. And we'll have you pop bottle, so. All right. Ready? Whatever you are. Yeah. Uh, well, we're happy to have you part of the fun and Thank part of the community so and everything. So it's really good, it. and we've got this bottle of, bottle of champagne for you. So let's get you set up. <laughs> So everybody's probably already following Amy Jo Martin, but in case you aren't, you are missing out because we have someone very special who's going to be our guest this episode, and she has been behind the scenes for some of the most famous social media things you may have ever come across, including random acts of shackness, if you remember that, which in my opinion even made Twitter. I'm not even sure if it would have been around without that. So please put your hands together for Amy Jo Martin. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's good. It's good to have you in the house, especially since you've only been you've been working downstairs, you know, just uh, you know, yeah. one floor away. Nice full house you have here. Yeah, you the like the GoPro audience. that we had uh, the GoPro that we had strapped up to the dog. Yeah, cousin, I go way back. Did you know that he has a, a new <laughs> middle name, by the way? <laughs> I did. Uh, listen, will you bring him up on the table? Sure. Can you bring up Cuz, or you grab him? Yeah, we did. So Amy officially renamed him Cuz Renegade. <laughs> I don't even know if he's that last name, but that's his middle name. We're still determining a last name, so you guys think about it. So, like, the GoPro, right now my face is in the GoPro. So that's, I was cussing earlier, and I think the GoPro heard it. Oh, geez. Well, there we go. Now we're not in iTunes, and you ruined the show. On accident. So. Sorry. 
Sorry, anyway. It was going to be good. So, cuz, just kind of hang in there and we'll, we'll see how you do. Yeah. So the uh, so so tell me, you play with GoPro every once in a while? I heard I you love, strap one to your head and get a little crazy. I have a GoPro. Yes, <laughs> I'm a snowboarder, and so um, yeah, that sounded interesting. Uh, I love to use it on the slopes because some funny things happen. Yeah. Cuz is talking right yeah, now. Yeah. No. 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 He's part of the conversation. Like you know. I'm gonna put the you, microphone. Yeah. No. That. No. He's great, man. Built like a table. Snorts like a pig. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Like table. <laughs> well, we're, you know, I put a uh, I put an Ogden Peeps message out for this dog, and uh, by the way, for everybody who didn't make it, like you have some amazingly cute dogs, and some of those dogs have way more Twitter followers than him, and better Facebook too. But you know, you've got to go with the build. He's like just built for a ta like a table. You know, he's perfect for a camera. He's he's pretty good. Yeah, great. and I he's, might let him down because I think he wants yeah. to go roam. A I bit. think so too. All right, you let All him right, go. Cause, thank you so much. And while he's gone, why don't you? Um, I guess let's we'll start off with the magic trick. Do you think that oh, would be a cool goodness. start? Yes, that would uh, be so exciting. Okay. All right. So okay. there's a little bit of a story. And I was thinking, we, we spoke earlier this week. And you're like, I don't just want this to be another whatever interview. Yeah. So I decided maybe we should change it up, given that this is Las Vegas. Is that a lighter? No. Oh. Oof. Yes. We have a history uh, of fire around here. <laughs> <laughs> so in third grade, um, oh. everybody had science fair <laughs> projects, right? Yeah. Right, studio right. audience, yes. And a lot of a lot of kids would prepare for like a month in advance. <laughs> and I forgot that I had mine due the next day. And so I told my mom and dad, I said, you know what? I have a science fair project due tomorrow. I'm sorry. It was the night before. Okay. And my dad, my dad is shaking his head at me. And he's like, all right, we'll figure this out. And so we did. And this was the science fair project that he came up with for me. It's a bar trick. And we did learn a lot of science out of it, but I will share with you. Hopefully what? this works. No, this is a good thing. And I will teach you all how to do I'm it. I'm going to teach you so much more about the Vanguard now. All right. No. So, no, no, no. It's not over yet. That's though. already. I'm already on. <laughs> I'm done. Please. <laughs> you grab some fire. And you basically. Someone have a question? <laughs> um. It has to do with the center of gravity. So he shows me this bar trick, and I'm like, OK, but how do I bring science into this as a third grader? Yeah. And we figured it out, because what you can't see right now, studio audience, but the camera is, is that this toothpick is burning from end to end to the edge of the glass, and then also into the fork to where it's just balancing perfectly off of nothing other than gravity, pretty much. So. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Anyway, it's quite magic. And you too can do this. It's very simple. But the, the center of gravity is right here. And because half of the spoon and half of the fork is on this side, it's, it looks like it's balancing on nothing. That is out of control. I, I wish you could see that. You guys, I got an A. I got an A. What am I? Yeah, what am and I then missing? I proceeded, I after like receiving that. my A in third grade, I proceeded to use this um, at a Christmas <laughs> party probably about eight years ago. And I think I got a promotion because of this trick. Like the CEO remembered me because of this. So you're welcome to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That is incredible. You are a Houdini. I love it. That thing, that thing is, oh, wow. Okay, so, so tell, us about, tell us about digital royalty. Like, what, what does your company do besides parlor tricks? Um, yeah, bar tri well, <laughs> This is on YouTube, too, by the way, so if you want to go check it out. But um, So I started the company four years ago, and um, we started working with, with athletes and celebrities and entertainment brands and then corporate brands and just helping them build their social media presence. And about two years ago, we started realizing let's teach our clients how to fish instead of fish for them, meaning let's educate them and help them understand how to incorporate social communication into their day. Because really, social media isn't media. It's communication. Right. And um, it impacts every aspect of business. So long story short, we started doing that. And it's, it's become um, something that we've been able to, to take into um, the real world, meaning you can go buy a class, Dylan, if you'd right. like to. And the first one is free. And what we did in October was launch our curriculum and our courses 
to anyone and everyone to make them available. So if you're looking to get a job, if you are a realtor, if you are a small business. Communication. But yeah, you know, I know. Yeah. But but you can um, purchase class and, and figure out how to kind of own your voice. And for every class that is sold, that is purchased online, we're giving back a class to teachers through our Teach for America nice. partnership. So the goal is to help bridge the gap between uh, teachers and parents because studies show students do better in, in school if their parents are more involved. So. We're trying to do that with social communication. Now, have you always had a passion for this education piece? Like, I mean, do you think there's a lot of problems with education now that you can solve, or is it just about like your frustration with people and the way they see social communication, not social media? But uh, it started, I guess, a few years ago. I, I realized I had a bit of a purpose problem. Like, okay. I didn't really understand why I was doing what I was doing, and and wanted to try and figure that out. So um, realizing that if people can figure out how to own their own voice and communicate and um, really use social communication tools uh, for other reasons outside of marketing, then we can start to accelerate the act of good and kindness and and innovation. And so that's a good yeah, yeah. root of why. Okay, so, so I've heard the story a couple times. And now, the way I understand it, I imagine um, you were working for the Phoenix Suns. You kind of did some like kind of obscure jobs there. This is the way I understand it, okay? So you'll correct me on this. But, um, and you happened to be in the airplane one time with the Phoenix Suns basketball team, and Shaquille O'Neal had some problems uh, just figuring out how that thing works, you know? It's and, Shaq Perry. Um, yeah, I wish I could do your accent too. But that's, uh, that's another, that's, we'll get to that. But so um, I guess you went over there and you kind of earned his trust the way I'm understanding it. And he kind of was like, you know, I think uh, Amy's got a good sense for this. And he gave you a lot of trust and you came up with some of these like uh, random acts of Shaqness and things like that. But um, I've always been curious, like how big of a role was Shaquille O'Neal in particular with the building of digital royalty? Like if you took him out of the equation, was this something you think would exist right now? And if if it was different, in what form would it be? It's a great question. I mean, huge role, definitely. When you have um, his personality, uh, you know, behind you, it's it's a lot of momentum. So, I'm not sure. I, I'm I'm positive that this would still exist. I'm not sure at what capacity, or if we would have taken the turn of working with celebrities and athletes. More of my experience was in corporate brands and working with like sponsors. So. Um, he's he definitely played a, a big role, literally, yeah, he's seven yeah. foot tall, in um, in being a launch pad and was willing to do. But anything. you had a passion that went deeper than that, right? Do you think you'd absolutely? Still be, okay. I mean, I got a call from the locker room one day, and they said, "I think you're the only one in this building that knows anything about this and Twitter, what Twitter this? thing." What, what year would that be? Uh, 2008 early 2008, um, can you come down and teach Shaquille O'Neal how to tweet? <laughs> and so I was like, sure. <laughs> so I did. Let me finish my sandwich first, but yeah, I'll be down. Yeah, let me take my time. But so it, it worked out well. Okay, and then uh, so social media or social communication 2013, like just give us a quick nutshell. Like what do we need to gear up for, especially startups that are watching the show? You know, I th actually, rather than thinking progressively in terms of, of what's coming and even seeing this at CES over the last few weeks, we're seeing a lot of fatigue. People are confused. They, there's so many platforms now. There's only so much time in your day. Where do we spend our time? How are we going to get our biggest return is, is the question that I'm constantly hearing. Usually I call my mom and ask her her opinion <laughs> when I want to know what you know the masses and not our bubble is thinking. Um, yeah. and, and so we're seeing a lot of that fatigue. So simplicity is huge. You look at Instagram's success. You look at Pinterest. And highly visual, simple platforms. Also, um, consensus is the true authority. If you look at what has happened with the privacy policy and just in general with Instagram and them making some changes and realizing there was a bit of a backlash and they changed back, uh, they realize how important their users are and how right. important that voice is. And so, really, you know, the people have spoken, and, and I think now the platforms are realizing that they have to listen. Yeah, I mean, you've really been part of some amazing stuff. I mean, I remember when you were uh, working with the UFC guy and he was like answering that phone, like that random mm -hmm. phone number they got out on the internet. And uh, there's a lot of really cool things. And I think people should uh, look up some of your history because there's a lot to learn from it and a lot about uh, a new way to talk with your customer. But done with all that serious stuff, do you have a good, uh, good grasp of Shaquille O'Neal's voice? I'd say Could I you do. impersonate him pretty well? Impersonate via text, maybe, but yep. I don't know that I could sit up here and like be well, Shaquille O'Neal. We'll find out. So, can you bring over the uh, roulette wheel of death, please? Oh, that sounds fun. Okay. 
So what we have going on here is we had everyone in the audience fill out a sentence that they thought would be really funny if you said in Shaquille O'Neal's <laughs> voice. So please spin this wheel and let luck figure out what that sentence is going to be. Hope you've been good today. This is all based on karma, this thing. Really? Yeah. Uh oh. I'm look at that terror. Okay. Look at your I'm face. I'm actually feeling terror. okay about this You're then. Good. Okay, 22. Let's see what we got. Oh, perfect. We do have a 22. We missed a few. Oh, jeez, man. Can cuss. That's a lot of words, too. Okay, so you need to say, and we'll, we'll practice this a few times so we'll get it down, but you need to say, I'm the number one ninja, and I have killed all of the shoguns in front of me. Okay? So I am the number one ninja, and I have killed all of the shoguns in front of me. You can read it if you need to. All right. Well, if we look at this, I can tell you right now, he likes to be the big something. So he probably wouldn't say the number one. He's like, I am the big ninja. Okay, okay. Would be like probably that. his first correction. And it's never I am, it's I'm a. Oh, so yeah, yeah. I'm a. And I have killed I'm all the shoguns ninja. in front of me. <laughs> Well, too violent for him, or you think that? No, Pretty not funny. too violent. But okay. um, I mean, he's Superman. Yeah, so. it's, oh, of course. Yeah, he's always protecting he, and hurting yeah, bad guys. Super. Yeah. Like, I assume shoguns are bad qualities. guys. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, shoguns. I like how whoever spelled shoguns on this too. By the way, it's S H O guns. Or maybe so, I read it wrong. Who knows? No, I think that's <laughs> correct. All so right. I don't think I can actually say it, but I can articulate that th okay. his grammar so would be it, different. Say, say it the way it would be tweeted from Shaquille O'Neal. I'm a big ninja. No, I'm a. <laughs> but it'd be mumbling in really low voice. So <laughs> if I were to do that, I'm a big ninja. <laughs> <laughs> and I have killed all the shoguns <laughs> in front of me. All right, buddy Dan, thank you. I appreciate you coming out. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks for bringing this thank one, you. too. You'll notice it all from the cover. Everybody check out her book, Renegades Write the Rules. This is on the cover of the book, and uh, maybe you'll be selling this? Do you, have you decided yet? The, oh. If so, it'll be happening at the uh, Pond Stars. Pond Stars wants to yeah. buy it. We'll check your local listings for... <sighs> when we might be on TV selling yeah. the, the... So if anybody wants a photo with it, they're only 58 cents, okay? <laughs> Thanks, guys. First up is for those interested in the visual history of downtown Vegas. Be sure to check out Vegas Vernacular Project Labs. This first event will be hosted at Tasty Space and Emergency Arts from January 25th through the 31st. This informal showing is an experiment in archiving buildings as they are reconstructed. This current lab focuses on a single downtown building, Galaxy Foam and Fabric, over on Charleston. During the next Tech Jelly breakout on Thursday the 31st at 7 p.m., Ray Morgan of Rumdur will be giving a highly technical presentation on Node.js. He'll go over what it is, what problems it solves, and what kind of applications you can write using it. They'd like me to inform everyone that there'd be beer afterwards, and more than likely during the breakout as well. I'm sorry, there's a dog on screen. <laughs> And speaking of beer, the uh, Beat will be hosting Wednesday Night Hang every week from 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. Enjoy a unique laid-back atmosphere featuring drink specials and live music by fabulous Las Vegas talent. This event is hosted by Las Vegas trumpet player and recording artist Joey Perot. After a night of relaxing, it's time to get back on the ball. Join the Las Vegas Entrepreneurs and Startups Meetup on Monday, February 4th at 7 p.m. with your number one product challenge. Bring your biggest, hairiest, and most terrifying product challenge and discuss it with the group. Having data that you're actually willing to share with your product challenge will be extra helpful. Also, from February 4th to 5th at the Las Vegas Chamber of Commerce is the 360 iDev Min for those iOS developers out there. This event concentrate, er, concent, concentrates the best of the larger Denver conference, including advanced topic discussions on the best development, design, and marketing practices, as well as speakers from the iOS and Mac community. If you mention Vegas Tech as your promo code, you'll get $50 off your tickets. Check out 360idev.com for more info. And thanks, and be sure to check back next week yeah, for more we're episodes. Short, sure, okay. short. Sure. All right, so for the very, the very, very last thing, I just wanted to uh, sometimes, especially Mike over here, he's often behind the cameras. He does a ton of work. He does audio engineering. He makes everything look beautiful. He eats all my food, obviously. <laughs> week. So we wanted to thank him, and uh, hopefully everything with your uh, rap career is going good. And uh, we really appreciate all your help. I don't think uh, we could have built this if it wasn't the exact right crew and the exact 
exact right time, and I think we got really lucky building this podcast. Thank you, Dylan. Uh, you know, it's a personal goal of mine to try to work on my group communication. So I appreciate everybody who comes here every single week and uh, helps support us. Adam donates all the most expensive equipment, but not only that, worked at a news station, really helped us like work through the logistics of how to uh, plan everything. And um, he actually really taught a lot to Jackie, who's been really the workhorse. Unfortunately, she's a Sundance right now, but she's been the big workhorse to like, um, you know, curate the content. She has to be the bad guy sometimes, but we really appreciate somebody willing to do that. And then, of course, Melissa, who was there at the very start, and she's been helping us with um, all of the graphics. Shiny um, graphics. It's just so every, yeah. Melissa yeah. is just in every every facet of this um, podcast. So I just want to give a big round of applause to these guys for helping out so much. Making it to episode 10. All right. All right. Thank you guys. See you next week for episode 11. Have fun. See ya.